On December 5th, I just was in school, walking around and just dropped to the floor. My legs gave out. So Eva was a triathlete. She played football, basketball, track. Straight A student, uh, very sociable. You know, I was going strong with basketball and when school started, I got an injury. It was something to do with my pelvis. It healed properly, but once I started to try to walk again after the injury, it did not go too well. First, I started just a little numbness in my foot, in my right foot, and then it started traveling up. And then I started getting this excruciating back pain and that was the first day of my paralysis. During the pelvis injury, she was seeing an orthopedic doctor. And when that healed, the orthopedic doctor told us, there's nothing wrong with her, it's in her head and she just needs to walk. Her dream was to be in the WNBA, you know, just her whole world was based around her sports. When the paralysis happened, that really put a toll on her mental health. She heard about Dr. Drury from her boss. We ended up just trying it out. I mean, we, we thought, what's the worst that could happen? You know, we just get let down again. Dr. Drury said on the first visit that my head was almost like completely to the side of my spine. It was way off. It was worse than some of his oldest patients he's ever seen. He figured that that was probably what was causing the paralysis. He was pretty much just like, you know, you're gonna walk, like we're gonna get you back walking, we're gonna get you up out of that chair. I'm 99% sure that this is what's causing it. And if it's not, then I'm just gonna be really surprised, is pretty much what he said. So when Eva first came to us, she had been to all the medical specialists and they had done all the MRIs and CTs and x-rays all of her lower back, uh, looking for a problem down the low back affecting the nerves to her legs. And when she came in to see me, uh, we did x-rays of her whole body, including her neck, and we agreed that they, we didn't find anything in the low back either, but we did find something going on in the neck. And People often associate that if there's something wrong with the legs, then it must be where the nerves come out that go down the spine. Well, what we found was actually, the problem was actually in the upper part of the neck, specifically the brain stem. And that's where the nerves come out of the brain, but they go from the brain stem down a spinal cord to her legs. So the misalignment was at the very top of her neck, was interfering with the messages to her legs. In her case, it was actually the second bone in her neck had shifted off to the right, and that was interfering with the messages between her brain and her legs so what we did is we simply went in and and repositioned that first bone which that removed any interference between the messages from her brain to her legs as the messages started to come back then she started to get the feeling and then the motor movement and everything started to to follow up so it just happened to be the second bone in her neck was the cause we correct the cause and then the body started to heal naturally the way it was designed when I saw her start to walk again um, couldn't help but just be extremely happy and grateful. Yes. Very emotional. Yes, it was very emotional. Not the actual first steps, because she was expecting that, but when I got up on the walker for the first time and took those first steps, that was when it was very emotional. One of my biggest stressors during the paralysis was most likely the trip that I had planned for two years to go to Paris and London. At the point of my paralysis, the trip was maybe five, six months away. So come March, my grandmother was ready to just cancel the trip, let it go. And I pretty much told her, you know, you gotta have the faith because apparently she, she, she began to lose it as well. So I had to make sure I reminded her that faith is the biggest thing during times of stress and things as such like that. And she, she went with it too. She said, all right, we're going to have the faith. We were right. We had the faith and we went on that trip. Walked 12,000 miles per day 12, on average. 12,000 steps. Miles, steps, and <laughs> I recommend Dr. Drury to a lot of people for all kind of different ailments. What he does, it serves such a huge spectrum of different ailments. And she's a true testimony that what he does 
it's pretty to me it's miraculous <laughs> he is the difference that's why she's walking yes especially you know considering the fact that none of the other doctors ever wanted to do an x-ray of my neck i definitely give my credit to dr jury do i feel like hope will be restored yes yes hope has definitely been been restored to the fullest